Hello everybody, I will be on in just a moment, uh, but you know the dealio. <laughs> Let me know how the audio sounds, I'm getting uh, the last part set up. And we've got a vote right now in the chat, we want to know um, what to make. Are we making an octopus, or are we making a squid? There's going to be a lot of votes in this one, though, because we have a lot of things we want to make, like hats and how to do the eyes and pretty much everything that comes with that. But go ahead and vote in the comments, and I'll be on in just a moment, and let me know how the audio sounds.
Hello everybody! Sorry, I switched the camera and then I realized that I didn't turn on the audio. Whatever. Hi everybody! How are you? How's your day going? I hope you're having a great Friday! It's been a second. It's been like a week or so. Look at me, classic me. I always forget to clean my glasses before I hit the live stream and then I'm like, why is everything blurry? <laughs> Just messy glasses is all. Uh, round of applause for Jimbo, Jiminy the Cat, our uh, pre-show, our, what is it, our opener? <laughs> yeah, Jimbo's our opener. Um, hi everybody. Today we have a pretty fun live stream. We're going to be crocheting something for the Club Crochet Challenge, because I don't know if you knew this, but currently we are running a, cr a challenge on the website where we want to crochet an octopus or squid, a cephalopod, if you will, with a career. So we're looking for a cephalopod that, uh, the, meaning an octopus, a squid, a cuttlefish, something like that, but one that has a job of some kind, um, has a career, and that being noticed by uh, things like hats or the environment in which the photo is taken, so the background in the photo, um, things like that. And today we're going to be making an octopus or a squid for it. Looks like y'all voted for squid, so we're going to be making a squid. But the next thing we want to vote on while I go through my intro is what our main color is going to be. Now, these are the colors that we still have from the kit that we opened in the start of this season. Um, we have a pretty good amount of yarn still. Um, choose your color. Do you want our squid's main color to be teal, pink, cyan, or purple? Vote now in the chat, and while y'all are voting for that, let's talk about uh, what this what today's live stream is going to be, I guess. Um, so yeah, so today we're going to be crocheting an octopus or squid. We're going to be adding hats or something for a career. I'm going to be getting your uh, suggestions on what you want this cephalopod's career to be, and uh, we're going to be improvising, improcheting, improvised crocheting. There's there's something there. There's something there. Crochet. Improvising, we'll figure it out. I'm sure you'll have an idea in the chat. Um, but go ahead and vote now on which color. I'm gonna choose this color because that one hasn't been made much. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. That's gonna that's a good idea. All right. Well, if you want to crochet along with me, all you're gonna need today is two colors of yarn. Um, really, just one color if you want to just make a very simple octopus or squid. Uh, I'm going to be using our worsted weight cotton yarn from our seasonal crochet kits. This one is our seasonal crochet kit that we have been working out of for this entire season. I usually put it all back together before the live stream, but I actually totally forgot that. Still available in the shop, uh, and it's still on discount for another week. Um, I don't know if you understand how the... I don't know if I've ever explained really how the discounts work for the uh, seasonal kits. Basically how it works is there's going to be a pre-order sale. That's like an extremely discounted sale. I think it's like 10 or 15% off. Um, and that's going to be before the season begins. So pre-orders for season three actually will start next week. Um, so you should be getting an email about that. I'll post things all over the place. Um, that's going to be the cheapest way to get a, a single seasonal crochet kit. Then there is, during the season, while the season's going, there's a discount on the current season's kit. So this season's kit for um, Under the Sea is currently on discount. I believe it's somewhere between 5 to 10% off. And then after the season, it there's no discount on it. Um, I might do discounts every now and then for like sales and stuff. Um, but that is basically the way that uh, discounts work. Um, the cheapest discount you can get though is with an annual pass that gets you four seasonal kits one for every single season that gets shipped to your home uh, and we're gonna be making new stuff every season next season's kit should I keep it super surprise no nah, we don't need to keep it too surprising we can give you the title at the very least next season's kit is gonna be titled holiday hooks we're gonna be making all sorts of crocheted things for all sorts of holidays. It's not just gonna be Christmas, it's not just gonna be Halloween, but we're gonna be making a lot of different uh, seasonal uh, holiday themed crochet. Uh, Nerdy Artist is very excited. Thank you so much for being excited. By the way, hello to the chat. Hello everybody out there. Um, 
yeah, I think this is gonna be a fun stream. I'm very excited to see what you guys make me crochet. Um, okay, well, all you need today is two colors of yarn. You can use your main color. Uh, looks like we're voting right now on what our main color is gonna be, and it is a tie between pink, purple, and teal, so go vote now before I finish our whole intro here. You're gonna need a crochet hook, of course. We're gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. Um, that's because it's my favorite hook to use for the yarn that we're gonna be using, but you can use any size crochet hook that works with the yarn that you're gonna be using. So if you're gonna be using chunky yarn, you want a bigger crochet hook, of course. You want a darning needle. Um, I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. It helps sew in hard to reach stitches. These are actually for sale in the shop. Um, I have, they. I just uh, put them for sale in the shop. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, actually, speaking of that, uh, I totally forgot. I literally just like this morning at like 3 a.m. because I didn't go to bed till way too late. Um, uh, added brand new color packs to the uh, shop, so you can get a new color pack which includes four balls of our premium, high quality cotton yarn, uh, and the color packs that are currently out are. Um, nature themed color pack so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be this uh, I don't know if I have the brown out well whatever I'll just explain it's gonna be sage green forest green yellow and brown uh, and then the cooler pack I don't know if it's the cooler pack but I was really proud of I, I just like the name the new, the other color pack is the Vaporwave color pack, <laughs> which is so, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's Gen Z or Millennial. I'm not really sure, but it's kind of like a retro-y vibe. That's going to be these colors that you see on screen now. So purple, cyan, pink, and teal. Um, those color packs are out now. I have a very limited supply. I think I only have 50 of each color pack. So if you want one, this is kind of my test run. So if you want one, Go ahead and purchase one. Uh, that would be really cool. You get an extra discount if you have a Club Crochet membership. Speaking of memberships, if you like this channel and you want to support, um, there's a few ways you can do so. The first easy, cheap way is just like and subscribe down below. Like this video if you haven't already, and subscribe to this channel. Um, if this video gets enough likes, we'll do a giveaway next live stream, which won't be next week, but the week after that. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Um, but if this video, let's say, gets Let's make it easy. Let's go 150 likes. This video gets 150 likes, we'll do a giveaway in the next live stream. Um, that's the free cheap way to support. If you wanna support monetarily, well, there's a different story. You can support monetarily. Probably the best way to support monetarily is with the Club Crochet membership. Memberships get you early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials for which we add, what, new ones? What chat, like every other week at this point? We're going crazy. We've been making them very very quickly um next week is the brand new pattern from Druby zoo that's going to be out on the website uh it's the it's tech i, I don't think it's really the final pattern in the seasonal crochet kit because i still want to do the micro crochet and i have another pattern by sir pro gray that i need to finish up but uh it's like the last like main pattern for the kit there's going to be some other patterns here and there but it's gonna be the last big pattern for the kit. Um, so if you want to get access to that, get a Club Crochet membership. Memberships start at only $5 a month. You get a free trial if you want, and you get a, an extra discount on everything in the shop. So if you wanna purchase anything, get a, you get a discount with the membership. You can even sign up for a free trial, get that discount, purchase whatever you want, and then cancel your membership. I'd rather you not, but you can. I'm not gonna lie, you could do that. Um, okay, well that's probably the best way to support. There's other ways to support though. You can purchase kits and merch in the store, um, like those brand new color packs or our crochet pins. We've got a Jimbo the pin and a little uh, pigeon pin and I don't know where the other pin is. Hmm. Well, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of pins and stuff and stickers and whatnot in the store. Uh, and yeah, then the last way to support is with a tip. If you really like what's going on here, you can tip by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. Links to everything I'm talking about, by the way, are in the description down below. If you tip today, we're gonna add something on the live stream for you, some kind of sea critter. 
with the goal being at the end of live stream, we're going to add it to the bowl of uh, critters. And when this bowl gets filled up, we're going to be doing a gigantinormous giveaway. So you can tip there. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Um, quick little aside to look at Jimbo. And then, oh, thank you so much for your tip, Cooper. I super duper appreciate you. Um, I'm going to get to that in just a second while we look at Jimbo. Just a quick, because you know, you need a Jimbo break every now and then. Look at that little baby. Oh my God, he's so cute. What a good boy. Okay, well, Cooper, thank you so much for your support. Let's add something out for Cooper. For being the first tipper, we're gonna, oh, you know what, you know what? I just made this one yesterday. I've been working on a new tutorial. Um, I don't know if you've seen my, oh my gosh, that would be so cool, Ivy. Ivy just said I should make the burb pin where the head slides up and reveals the burb underneath. That's a great idea. I don't know how to do that, but that's a really good idea. Um, so I made this narwhal literally yesterday um, for a video. I don't know if you've been noticing, but I've been do trying to do a lot more shorts that are tutorials. Um, they're going pretty well and they're pretty fun to make. So I hope you guys like them. But I made one yesterday for how to make horns and spikes for your amigurumi. Uh, I probably won't be releasing it for a few weeks just because like I'm trying to kind of get a bit of a backlog going and trying to figure out like the best timing for this stuff. I don't know, YouTube's weird with that, um, with shorts. They're like really trying to push them, but also like, I don't know, it's weird. They're adding all these new things, so I'm trying to figure it out before I release it. But anyhow, I made this for that. And uh, this narwhal needs a name. So Cooper, I know you sometimes have a difficulty with names, but if you have a name for your narwhal that we'll be adding to the uh, fishbowl at the end, please let me know in the chat. And if anybody wants to give him help on name suggestions, go for it. We're gonna set uh, Cooper's narwhal here in the background in the meantime. And we're gonna see what color you guys voted on. Ooh, a close one. It was a close one, but purple won by just a little bit. By just a little bit. So cool, we got purple. Um, next question I want to ask you, um, is what kind of eyes to make? Uh, and then I'm going to get started crocheting our squid. Um, basically our eye options are small or large eyes. That's really it. Um, we could do, actually we could do like no eyeball too. Not like no eyes, but no like, here, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. So. So here's, a, here's our squid and octopi that I had in the thumbnail. Um, so you can see the eye options. So these are gonna be eyes, we're gonna call these googly eyes. So we've got googly eyes with small eyes, six millimeter googly eyes or eight millimeter googly eyes. Eight millimeter are a little bit cuter. They're a little bit sweeter, but six millimeter uh, look a little bit more funny, more silly. So those are their googly eye options. And then I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna also have the vote for no googly eye. So that means it's gonna be the eye without the white part of the eye. So it's just gonna be the eye on the face. And then we can add things like, um, we can add like eyelashes or cheeks or something like that to it if we want. So those are gonna be the votes. Let me go ahead and put that in the chat right now. Hey dad, my dad's in the chat. Hey dad, Papa Loops, what kind of eyes to add? Uh, so we're going to say six millimeter googly, eight millimeter googly, six millimeter plain, and eight millimeter plain. Okay, so those are your vote options. Go ahead and vote now in the chat. Um, I won't need those for just a second, so we're going to go ahead and get started crocheting. Um, let me pull up the pattern for our squidly. And then after we vote on the eyes, we're going to need to vote on this one. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh, I keep pulling up the wrong place. There we go. 
Um, after we vote on the eyes, we're going to need to vote on... Um, we're going to need some suggestions for careers for this squid. So, uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna need a lot of suggestions there. Um, so I'm looking for things like... Like, what is our what is our squid's job supposed to be? Like, what do they do for a living? Basically, is what we're what we're gonna be aiming for. Hold on, I need to tighten our light box here. Okay. All right, let's get crocheting. Um, the good thing about these patterns is that they're really quick to make. There's no sewing that is required, so that is gonna be nice. All right. What about yellow eyes? Ooh, Michelle, that's actually not a bad idea. Hmm, hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. You know what, maybe we will do a different vote for eyes. Hold on, I like your thinking. Okay, if it's between the googly, you know what, it's a perfectly even vote right now between the googly, so wait, let's go ahead and I'm gonna end that poll, we're gonna do it again because I really like your idea. Start a poll, what? kind of eyes round two okay so i like the idea of doing simply plain eight millimeter googly or octo eyes okay the last one i put okay i redid the vote sorry about that but i redid the vote because the last vote is is for octo eyes that are gonna be like this. So those are octo eyes. So we got we got six millimeter googly eyes, eight millimeter googly eyes, um, six millimeter eyes that are plain, meaning that they won't have any googly behind them, or octo eyes that are gonna be like this. They kind of also look like goat eyes. So there you go. That's your vote. Don't worry. By the way, Cooper, I'll put taco back into the bowl for you. I know that taco was your octopus that we put in a few weeks ago. Okay. Let's get back to it. This light box thing keeps breaking, so hold on. I got to fix it again. Sorry if that's really loud. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic very loud. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's get back to it. Calvin the Narwhal? That's what Emerald Turtle wants to name your narwhal. Cooper, what do you think about that? Ooh, a fisherman squid. That's fun. A dancer squid. Three... How's your guys' week been, by the way? What have you guys been up to? I have just been working on all the patterns for season three. My computer, or my phone just... Or my, sorry, my Mac just crashed. That was weird. Um, Yeah, I've been working on all the patterns for season three, and I am so so excited you know i'm really enjoying this uh these seasonal kits a lot because it's been a lot of fun to be like like at first it gets really stressful you know because i'm like oh shoot season two is already almost over how did that happen so fast and i kind of was freaking out like t two weeks ago hold on there we go um i was kind of freaking out like two weeks ago but then, like, this week came up, and I was like, okay, you know what? It's time. I need to crochet all the things that we're making in Season 3, um, some of which were patterns that I already had finished, so that wasn't that big of a deal. But a lot of them was just like, okay, let's, like, experiment. Let's see what we can make. Let's see how many things we can make. And, oh, my God, it's so much fun to do. I made some really cool stuff, and I still have so much extra yarn. I'm really excited because I didn't think I was gonna have so much extra um, materials, but I did. I, I we have a decent amount of extra, which means that I get to make even more patterns. So that's gonna be pretty fun. One, two, three, and 
and then an increase. Got it. Okay. Okay, we're back on track. We're back on track. Five Worlds Explorer said, we did an octopus and squid, and we made the angel squid and the devil octopus. Yes, I do. I absolutely remember that. I think that they are, um, actually, they might be here. No, I think I... I'm not sure where they're at. They're somewhere, though. They're sneaking around somewhere. Giving good and bad advice. You know how angels and squids... Angels and squids. Angels and demons be... Ivy had a rough last night. Well, Ivy, I hope you are doing better. Seems like today has been a lot better. That's great. I hope I hope the rest of your week goes better. I hope the rest of your life goes better. I hope that crochet is at least making it a little bit better. Okay. Where was I in my round? One, two, three, and then an increase. Nerdy Artist made a chibi spider. Is it chibi or chibi? I never know how to pronounce it. But that sounds cute. And you're currently re reworking your zombie. A zombie bee. That's cute. I uh, I actually went on a spider, um, spider killing spree last night. Jules has a terrible fear of spiders. And... I'm not kidding you guys. Biggest spider I've I've ever seen was outside. I think it was a black widow. It was about that freaking big though. It was huge black widow. Just sitting right outside. I mean that was like the body. You know, like the legs were like out to here. It was really scary. Uh and but you know, I'm I'm a heroic heroic dude, so I I, I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> Had to do what I had to do. I had to protect my fiance. You know? You know? Chibi. Chibi. Thank you. Oh my gosh. They want a Darth Vader. Wait. You plan on spending the weekend crocheting a lightsaber scarf? That is dope, Ivy. Yeah, she, Zoe, Zoe says she's laughing in Australian. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, that's why I'm never going to move to Australia, I'll tell you right now. Spiders are spooky. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. Today is actually uh, Jules's, um, Jules has, is going on a sabbatical uh, this month. The Her work is very, very nice. And after working there for, I think it was five years, they get a whole month off. So she gets a whole month off uh, in September. So she's very excited. So today is her, she's, she is, she said it feels like Christmas Eve, <laughs> which is pretty cute. Leaf Sauce, welcome to the chat. How you doing? It's been a second. Hope you're doing well. One, two, three, four. Five. And then increase. Oh, yes. I, I know that, Christine. But that is good for people to know. Uh, generally speaking, Japanese pronunciations uh, are A E U A O. And so, yeah, chibi. That does make sense. I just, for some reason, I didn't think about it as a Japanese word. I don't know why, because I know, like, amigurumi is a Japanese word. Um, I've actually been studying Japanese for a really long time. I still am not very good at Japanese. I'm not going to say that. But I have been studying it for a long time. I took it for four years in high school, and I've been doing it on Duolingo now for uh, two years. Another two years. So... I can speak it a little tiny bit, but geez, Japanese is so difficult. It's like way too hard to, I don't know. You know, like I don't know anything. One, two, three, four, five, and six. An 
and then an increase. Okay, we're doing great. We're doing great. We're already almost done with the top of our octo. Which is, or squid rather, which is great because we're gonna need time to customize this a bunch. Four. And six, and then an increase. Yes, oh totally. I'd love to be your friend on Duolingo. I don't really know how to do that though. I don't know how to become friends on Duolingo. But I would totally, Five Worlds Explorer. I gotta work on my posture. My back has been not good. It has been a bad back week. Which is a problem because uh, tomorrow I'm going on a flight for like a long time and I'm very worried because whenever I go on flights, my back gets way, way worse. It's just sitting. Sitting in general is really bad for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is why we stand and crochet on these live streams, by the way. I don't know if you knew that, but that is why I am standing and crocheting because my back got real messed up. What was that chat like a year ago, two years ago, more than two years ago. Remember I used to sit for my live streams and then I, I got a really, really bad back problem. And then I couldn't sit for like a year just laying down and standing up. And yeah, it seems to be rearing its ugly head again. So I've been doing a lot of yoga, started doing acupuncture. I don't think it's working, but I don't know. Oh yes, Ivy keeps telling me to get an exercise ball. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. I should get an exercise ball. Okay, we're gonna end that poll. And, ooh, Octo Eyes won by 57%. Heck yes. Very cool. Um, what should our squid's career be? There we go. Okay, Q and A is now in the chat. Um, we're looking for suggestions now. What do you think our career that we should be making for our squidly here should be? Should it be, should they be, I don't know. I don't know. Let me, give me suggestions. What should our career be? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Oh wow, we're already on the frill. How cool is that? All right, dope. We're gonna do this frill in just a second. Okay, so if you want to give me suggestions, go in the Q&A on, um, on YouTube, uh, in the chat, there should be a little button for Q and A and you can put suggestions there. That'll probably be the best way to give me suggestions. Um, or you can, uh, just put it in the chat and then hopefully someone else will put it into the Q and A for you. That is what I'm hoping for. Uh, and then we're going to need to make eyes for our Fella, we're doing octo eyes. Now, do we want to do, when we said octo eyes, are we doing yellow octo eyes? We can do that. Or yellow squid eyes. We can do yellow squid eyes. I don't know, what do you think? We can also do white squid eyes. Um, okay, we're doing the frill now, though. Oh, there we go. One. By the way, if you were trying to find this pattern, uh, it should be linked in the description. I just put all the patterns right here at clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. Um, or this pattern specifically, I think the, like I make quick links for all my patterns so that it's really easy to bring them up. 
Uh, this one's at clubcrusher.com slash squid. So if, there, if you wanted to get to this pattern really quick, that's usually the easiest way um, is just to like type in clubcrochet.com slash and then whatever the pattern is for. So squid. This one was a little too tight. I'm going to loosen it up just because I know from experience making these frills is a lot easier if these slip stitches are just a little bit looser than normal. So we need to get this out because for some reason that came through. There we go. Four. There we go. Noise. Yeah, but I definitely do need to get an exercise ball. You are totally right, Ivy. I need to do it. It has to got to happen. Ooh, fun suggestions in the in the Q and A. We've got a horticulturist, an oceanographer. An environmentalist? Oh my gosh, these suggestions are so good. <laughs> I was expecting like a construction worker. <laughs> I love those. A baker, I like that. Um, okay, turn, we're gonna chain one. I need more coffee apparently. I got a yawn, big old yawn, do you see that? That was crazy. Crochet one. Crochet one. Two. Um, so by the way, if you want to enter the Club Crochet Challenge, you can learn ev more at just clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Again, the links are in the description. Um, there are, there's a, few submissions but you know what there's actually not as many submissions as you as you'd think so far so your chance to win is not zero um all you need to do is crochet a cephalopod uh, with a career and post a picture on instagram or um uh or discord uh all the information is at clubcrochet.com slash challenge and some of the submissions so far have been way, way cute. Um, I'm gonna be choosing my four favorite submissions by the end of next week. So you have by till next Friday to submit. Um, like really submit before next Friday because I'm gonna be choosing my four favorites and then you'll, you are gonna vote on the number one favorite uh, outside of those four. That's the... That is how it works. Let me mini pico. Mini pico. Oh, Ivy submitting theirs this weekend. Very cool. Very cool. I'm excited to see what you got, Ivy. Were you the one making the dancing squid? And not like dancing, but you know, like a dancer. Was that you? can't remember. Someone said they were thinking about making it a squid that is an exotic dancer, and I thought that was really funny. One. Oops. There we go. That's pretty good. Woo! My back oh you are yes okay great i can't wait kershandro is submitting theirs today very cool very cool i'm not sure what to do for next month's challenge um we did a snowman last year for the you know winter themed seasonal challenge i don't know what should we do for this next challenge though I'm kind of thinking maybe we could do 
An ornament? That could be pretty fun, actually. Like, crochet an ornament for a Christmas tree. Because then you can make kind of whatever you want for the ornament. Oh, that's actually... I, I, You know what? I think I might have just come up with it. I think that's a great idea. I mean, I'll, I'll keep... I'll keep an open mind, though, if you got any other ideas out there. But that, I think an ornament would be kind of really fun. That is low-key one of the patterns in the new seasonal kit, so. Nerdy artist, do I ever have testers for the patterns? And if so, how do I go about that? Um, I do get some testers for patterns. Uh... The way that I usually test them is I call them preview patterns on the website. Um, if you'd like to learn more about becoming a preview pattern like or a tester, uh, reach out to me at um, just, you can reach out to me via email, um, louis at clubcrochet.com and I'll send you uh, information about it. Uh, I definitely need to get better at testing patterns. So um, the answer is yes, but I, I kind of think I need help like getting it set up and like figuring out like a good system for testing because sometimes it gets away from me, you know? Ooh! Somebody, that's literally, literally their name, uh, suggested a computer scientist in the, uh, for the job suggestions and I think that's a pretty fun one too. Oh, yeah, that might help, Emerald Turtle. I can, I mean, I have a little thing here that I can put my foot up on. And, yeah, that helps a little bit. It'd be really nice. It would be nice to have a stool. And I don't mean, I don't mean a, you know, a stool. <laughs> that was dumb. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so, our, so here, here's another question before we get to this next round because now is the round where if I want to we can add the black mask on the outside of the face before we do the eyes do we want to add the black mask on top of the yellow eyes for some reason I'm feeling like that might be too much I don't know what do you think what do you think black mask on top of the eyes again we're making these the um the Octo Eyes. We're making eyes like this, but we can also add the black mask to it. What do you guys think about that? It's a, it's extra work, no question there. But it might be kind of fun. What do we think? Because it's like these eyes with the black mask. I don't know. I don't know. You know what, let's, why don't we do a quick little poll? I don't know if polls, this will work right, but maybe it will. Okay, I put it as a poll, just to get your opinion on it. Um, do we want to do the black mask with the octo eyes? Yes or yes or no? Um, I'm just gonna let that get to like around 20 votes before I continue. Uh, and let's let me look at the suggestions for the um, Q and A too. Ooh, sushi chef. That's a fun one. Minor. Ooh, Koshandro. I don't know how to do that. That's a very interesting suggestion. Koshandro suggested we make them a stunt man. I'm not really sure how I would make this octop or the squid a stunt man. How would we like make that very clear? That's a fun idea though. Okay, okay. I'm gonna select some of my favorites here because we will be needing to vote on this pretty soon. Oh, 
that's a fun one. That's a fun one. Farmer, that's a fun idea. Oh, that's a good one too, though. Okay. All right. I have I have four suggestions that I really like, but we'll get to those in just a second. Looks like you think we should do no eye mask. Okay, cool. I actually appreciate that. I think that makes things a lot easier. So, I'll take it. So we're not going to do a mask, and we're instead going to just do this round as normal. I feel like I goofed up somewhere. Let me count my stitches real quick. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen. No, no, we're we got the right amount of stitches. Hmm. I don't know why I feel I goofed, but I guess I didn't. I guess that I didn't. I just feel I have. Okay, so that was eight, nine. nine. Something just honked. Some car just honked. I got very quiet there because I was thinking too hard and then a truck knocked me out of it. They were like, hey, wake up, bud. You're in the middle of something. All right, I believe that is correct. I think we're, I think we're doing it right. You can see how the squid top is looking. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a good suggestion too, Zoe. Dang, there's too many good ideas. Okay, Zoe, I, I, I did one of your suggestions. I wanna know, because I think you have two really good ideas, but I'm only gonna put one of your good ideas in. Do you like your first idea or your second idea more? I won't spoil it too much. You can let me know in the chat right now, Zoe, which one which one do you like more? Because you're getting only one of those two, because they're both good. Very good ideas. Okay, so I just did round 10, I believe. No. I just did round 9. And now I'm on round 10. Okay. Okie dokie. Five. Six. Man, then we really should have made the mask. Oh well. <laughs> Seven. I think that's right. 
believe that's the end of the round, but actually, maybe, actually, no, that's the end of the round. So one, two, seven. Okay, yeah, we're right. Seven there, and then decrease. Hey Tina, how are you doing? I was hanging out with Jack last night, actually, and I was thinking about you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then invisible decrease. Okay. And we're gonna do yellow squidly eyes in this next round. Oh, Tina, thank you so much. Tina, let's add something to the background for you. Let's see what we got here. Perfect. Tina, we're gonna add this little purple whale for you. By the way, these micro crochet patterns, um, I think we're gonna call them mini groomies, uh, should be out very soon. I tried to record it yesterday, but I just couldn't. I just, I had a million bazillion things and it, like I started half recording it and then I was like, you know what? I'm recording this when I get back from my trip because there's too much going on right now. So I'm gonna record this when I get back. It'll be up in like a couple of weeks. Next week, there's a new pattern um, coming out anyhow. And then the week after that, I've got a new tutorial coming out. And then the week after that, we're gonna do a bunch of mini Gurumi patterns. So these patterns are coming out soon, but thank you so much, Tina, for your support. We're gonna add this to the, uh, our, our, uh, Fishbowl at the end of the live stream. Don't let me forget. And by the way, if you want to name your little octopus, or I mean, whale, you can. I don't know if Cooper actually ever officially came up with a name for their um, narwhal over there. Okay, one, two, and then a mini bobble. Okay. So one. Two, we're gonna use the yellow from our kit because we still have a little bit left over. Um, we used this for our uh, anglerfish last week, our last live stream, but we actually didn't use it all. So we still have some extra just for our little squid eyes. So one, two, and then an eye. One, two, we're gonna pull tight. And three. I think there we go. One. Whoa, the yellow looks really good on the like the purple. Okay, I'm gonna pull that color to the side, and now we're gonna do the mouth i believe it's one mini bobble oh no it's two single crochets and then a mouth okay so one more single crochet here and then we start our mouth and do i remember how to do the mouth yes i do it goes one two Six, yes. Three, four, five, six, like that. And then I go slip stitch into the first one. Chain one and turn, and then single crochet. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. One, okay. Once I'm done with this mouth, I can pay attention to the chat a little bit more. 
Naughty the Narwhal. That's what Chloe wants to name your narwhal, Mr. Cooper. Have I seen One Piece on Netflix? No, I haven't. Um, I have watched a little bit of One Piece, the anime, um, back in the day when I was in college. Uh, but I am actually pretty excited to see it. I've been watching recently. I've been watching a lot of. Um, uh, I've been watching Sweet Tooth on Netflix. Uh, I really like that show a lot. Uh, that's from a comic that I used to read also in college. Um, and let's see, what else have we been watching? Only Murderers in the Building. Anybody else watch that? That's on Hulu. That is great. Good show. Uh, wait. Three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Um, and I've been watching Foundation, which is a very convoluted, confusing science fiction show, which I do really like, but it is kind of a lot sometimes. The main actor in that show is like so good though. The guy that plays the emperor, he's like really, really good. He's the dude from um, Pushing Up Daisies and uh, he's also in like, uh, he's in the Hobbit movies as like the elf king. And he's in the, um, I think he's in Guardians of the Galaxy as Ronin. That guy, he's such a good actor. 10 out of 10. He's very, very good. Um, yeah, Sweet Tooth is so good. And yes, right? Only Murderers in the Building. Jules and I love to watch it and come up with theories about who is the murderer. Don't worry, I won't say anything because I don't want to spoil anything at all. But, um... We, I have I have a big theory for this season that I really hope is right. There we go. Oh, I'm supposed to change back to the eye color after that. We got our mini baubles. We got our mouth on. That honestly, this round was like the hardest one. But at least we didn't have to do the color changes on top of doing all the eyes and stuff. Thankfully. Because that does add a lot of extra work. Looks a little demonic right now, like a zombie squid. His career is zombie. <laughs> Thanks, Tag. Tag? Am I saying that right, Tag? Corpse whale for your narwhal? Heck yes. All right, dude. Cool corpse whale. It does look like a corpse a little bit. A little corpse whale. It's cute. Zoom us in a little bit more. Um, okay, I think I have one. And then, okay, so I just need to get to the end of this round. And then I think it's time we can vote on the um, profession what career we want to add to our cephalopod um, because we will need to give it some kind of career and we need to start brainstorming ideas on how to make it obvious that they you know work in that field so let's go ahead and choose our careers career day it's career day <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end this Q&A. And start a poll. All right, so what should our wigs career be? All right, here's your votes. You can vote now on what our career is gonna be. Do you want a, our uh, squid here to be a teacher? 
an author, a bank robber, <laughs> or a baker? Teacher, author, bank robber, baker. I like the author idea because of ink. That's what someone said in the uh, poll or in the Q&A. And I thought that was pretty clever. Uh, bank robber just seems funny. Uh, baker seems like a great idea. Uh, I can think about a million ways to make it look like a baker. So that makes it, e it easy. Uh, same with teacher. Teacher, I think, is a great idea. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and vote now. And we'll choose one and we'll make some kind of additions to make it very clear that this squid's career is what it is. Um, I'm going to vote. Which one am I going to vote for? I'm going to vote for that one. Hoo-wee! Zoe. Zoe. Zoe's ideas, you know? Zoe's a good, a good idea there. Hey, Sarah. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm getting into the spooky spirit. That's right. That's right, nerdy. <laughs> nerdy, you're dope. As, you're dope. I almost said a bad word, but you're dope. <laughs> okay. Adding eyes. Uh, ba -ba -ba, working the front loops. Okay, got it. I just need a single crochet for a round. This song is fun. This song sounds like something from Ocean's Eleven or something. Okay, what are our votes going to be? Oh, boy. Okay, so we need to start doing some research here, too. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at, I'm looking at like, man, we should have done the mask. <laughs> we should have made it with the mask. There we go. Okay. I think next thing we need to do is we did all those single crochets. Um, we want one more single crochet to line things up correctly. And that's our new end of the round. Um, oh no, okay, so next we want to make our our, our um, tentacles. And then we can add face stuff. So, okay, so here's the tentacles. Slip stitch run. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we should do pointed tentacles. I was gonna ask if we should do rounded or pointed uh, tentacles in the chat, but if this is gonna be, I think it. I I'm I'm making the executive decision. We're doing we're doing pointed tentacles for this one. Wait, was I not supposed to do? Okay, I did that wrong. Hold on. It's supposed to be slip stitch one, and then all those frills are all the tentacle parts in the next stitch right here. Got it. Okay. Okay, you know, mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. All a part of the process. That's right, nerdy artist. All a part of the process. Then we'll go into the next one. 
right? Yeah, there's a tentacle. That's great. That's that, that's what we're looking for. Really? Ivy said, did you know that technically squids only have two tentacles and eight, eight arms? That's right, because they got like a, oopsies, sorry, Mr. Camera. So they've got those two like long tentacles, right? That are like, like extra long. And then the rest of them is little, that's right. That's right. You're right, Ivy. Ivy, you're so smart. So smart. Ivy, did you ever think of becoming a botanist simply because of your name? <laughs> Ivy. What what do you think the name Louie constitutes like like stereotypically for a job? What what should my job have been because my name was Louie? Did I do the mess up again? No, no, I didn't, right? Did I? No. Did I? No. Slip stitch here. Yeah, no, we're good. I think, I, I feel like Lou, I mean, maybe it's just because of Louis Armstrong, but I think of a musician, personally. Now, I'm not much of a mu musician, but I don't know. It just feels like that's what that name is I don't know. <laughs> Louis the Monkey King. Yes, that's what it is. You're right. Yes, of course, Cooper. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, yeah, a king. A king of some kind. <laughs> Great. Good to know. I'm destined for royalty. <laughs> I always knew it. I always knew it. So we got a long flight tomorrow. And on that flight, I mean, I'm going to be crocheting and stuff, of course. But I will need stuff to listen to. Anybody got any suggestions for an uh, album? An album or a an episode, a specific episode of a podcast that you think I should listen to. Let me know in the chat because I definitely am taking suggestions. I need something to listen to. Um, an, an album would be fun, uh, but uh, it would be nice to have an episode of a podcast too. You played him at your elementary school? I love that. I, I did a study on Louis Pasteur in elementary school and that was my first introduction to a louis up that wasn't myself you know um oops that was supposed to be a slip stitch in the same stitch like that and then slip stitch there. hey seth how you doing we got another Guy Crocheter in the chat. Hey, how you doing, Seth? Hope you're having a great day. What are you crocheting? You, you've been working on anything recently? Celtics Myths and Legends. Actually, I think... Ivy, did you give me the suggestion to do a, the Myths and Legends? No, no, you know what? I think that was... Um, that was... Uh, uh, magic something. Give me that suggestion. The Celtic myths and legends. There's one about the bomb Bambino Gion. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to write this down. Okay. Celtic myths. And then it's Bambino. Okay, that sounds really like my kind of thing. Bambino Gion. We're going to go with that. Any of the No Sleep podcast. Okay, No Sleep pod taken. 
Oh, you did suggest that once in a giveaway. That's where I saw it. Yes, yes. Ooh, okay. Wait, wait. The beach too sandy. Beach too sandy. And then... Oh, beach too sandy, water too wet. Okay, cool, cool. Great suggestions. Love that. Three... That's that's a solid three. I mean, if you want, if anybody else has a great uh, suggestions for podcasts or uh, albums, musical albums, I'm taking them. I need something to listen to for this on this uh, flight. Look at that weird tentacle. You know, I'm gonna undo that because that. Look at that. That stitch is getting all weird. Let's. Let, we can fix that. I can fix that. I can fix that. Anybody know what that quote's from? I've done it on this on the live stream before so some people will know just because they've been on the stream before gotta stand up straight louis there's an episode about jeff the talking mongoose oh isn't that a, gonna be a movie soon i thought i saw a trailer for something about that It's a bro and sister reading one star reviews. Oh, I love that. I love that. Beach too sandy, water too wet. That's funny. That's a good name for a podcast. But I, that's good. I like that, Zoe. Okay, slip the stitch there. One to the next. How are we looking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. We're we're on track. Almost done with this round, and then we're gonna finish up the eyes. I think these eyes are gonna be perfect for. Well, I guess we don't know what the career is just yet. We still have a couple more. We got a little longer to do the vote, but looked last time i was looking was it was a bank robber vote and these eyes are going to be pretty good for bank robber i think what do you think what do y'all think uh oh the kitty cat stirs Ooh, spoiler, it's the talking phantom of a mongoose. Oh, wow, I do actually want to know more about that. That sounds funny. And very interesting. Okay, that's going to be that for the little, for our tentacles. Or our arms, I guess. Looks pretty good, though. Okay, so let's fix up these eyes, make them more, uh, make, add the iris. Ooh, Baker's top vote now. Interesting. Is that true? Wow, it's a close vote, though. Okay, we're gonna use our black yarn from our kit. We look at how much black yarn we still have in our kit, by the way. An insane amount. What are we gonna use this for? I'll tell you. We're gonna add a beanie. I don't know, actually, because if it's gonna be a baker, we probably won't be using this. We'll be using our white yarn. But we will see. Oh no, Jimbo! Did we lose a Jimbo? Oh, we did. Oh, he got out of it, and then he's just laying under the camera now. <laughs> Classic. Classic Jimbo. All right. Let's add the iris. Iris I? Iris ease. That. Gosh, this song 
brings me back to elementary school. I used to play, um, it's from Yoshi Story. And God, I used to play that game so much. That is pretty good for the eye. I like it. Not bad. Okay, one eye added. Let's do the other one over here. The trick here is to make it, see how it's like just barely angled out? little bit it's like what is that like a 10 degree angle i'm gonna try to do something similar on this side but it's gonna be harder to, to replicate going the other way around we're gonna see see how well i can do so we want to go up and out like that a little bit just just a little bit just like up to maybe like right here let's see Let's see how well that can be replicated. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Oh, he's back already. What a good boy. All right, eyes are added. How's that looking? That's looking pretty great, I think. And we're almost done with the squid part itself. And I think any additions that we're gonna make to the squid are just gonna be sewn on afterwards. So I think we can finish up the I think we can finish up the, the 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 squid itself first and then we can add anything on it. Nerdy artist says that they they feel like crocheters crocheting whatever project we are on with you. It's like we are hanging out. I dude, nerdy artist legitimately, I feel the exact same way. Uh, I honestly like come to these live streams and like it, it legitimately feels like I'm hanging out with a bunch of friends. Uh, so I, I very much like these live streams would be literally nothing without you. So thank you so much for being in the chat. That that goes for everybody in the chat. Like, thank you so much. You make these live streams like really they're the, you're the only reason I'm here. <laughs> like truly. I mean, other than I love to crochet, but you know, it's because we're hanging out. It's fun to, it's fun to talk with you. It's fun to catch up. I really legitimately enjoy these. They make my weeks way better. My, um, I was talking, I think yesterday about what I want to do. Like, like about like, like live streams are like a pretty, they're, they're a pretty solid commitment, you know, and like not only for the day, but like pre prepping for them, knowing what I'm going to do, getting the patterns made on top of doing the live streams and stuff. They can be a bit of like, quote unquote, like an investment, but I was talking to someone and they asked like, well, like, are you going to stop doing them? I was like, no way, no way. Like they're so worth it. Like, I mean, I don't know about financially. I like, you know, like we, I get some tips during the live streams and like, I'm sure some people become members and stuff, but really it's like, it's just fun. It's just, it's just a fun thing to do. And, and I always like being here to provide any help. if like someone like is stuck at any point on crochet things. I mean, we don't often do that in the live streams just because I don't think there's that many people that come to the live streams just to ask for help. But I like that that option is there for people if they want to. I don't know. I just love crochet. That's really what it comes down to. And and I like hanging out with people that also share that passion with me. So anyhow, there's my little spiel. Uh, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Um, okay, so I'm going to continue on in our piece now. We are on the second to last round, I think. Yeah, we are on the second to last round, and I just need to figure out where the heck... I think it's right here. Is that stitch that I need to work into? Yeah, that one right here. So I think I've got 16, 18. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, okay, so we got to do two single crochets and then a decrease. One. And two. And then an invisible decrease. Get that black yarn out of here. It's going to get gonna mess everything up like that I think that's right ah then a decrease like that <laughs> tagged <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, someone asked about sunflowers. They say they want to teach themselves amigurumi. Where do they begin? You can knit. Oh, good question, sunflowers. So I would say um, what Cooper just said in the chat is definitely a good place to start. There's a complete 101 series that I built uh, when I started Club Crochet. Uh, it's called Crocheting 101. You can find it just at crocheting101.com. Um, if you are a knit knitter already, then you um, it shouldn't actually be too much more difficult for you to get into it. I, I always say if you're a knitter and you're trying to get into crochet, it's like being it's like um, uh, writing in a new language. You already know how to use the pencil. You just need to learn how to write something new. So what I mean by that is if you, know how to knit you already understand yarn you know how to hold yarn you know how yarn works now you just need to learn how to use yarn in a completely different way um so i actually think that it's it's a lot easier to go from knitting to crochet than it is to go from nothing to crochet um so i think you're already ahead of schedule there uh um what cooper said is a great place to start crocheting 101 but if you are gung-ho about it and you really think you can do it, um, I kind of suggest you just jump in. Um, there's a whale pattern on the website. You can find it just at clubcrochet.com slash whale. I'm actually going to probably be releasing it as a free video next week. So if you just subscribe to the channel, you'll probably get um, something about it next week. But it, I tried to design that pattern so that it is for complete beginners. So you don't need to know how to crochet at all prior to going into it. Um, my idea there was like, I want something that is like, easily approachable for people that are like they want like a crash course into crochet they don't want to go through like oh how to do this stitch and that stitch and that stitch they just want to do it so that was kind of my idea with the whale um and uh so in that one you might actually be able to just straight up do um yeah yeah uh, it is available on the site right now with a membership, but if you uh, wait just a little bit, it will be a free pattern um, pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. You know how I know I'm getting older? Uh, uh, just for, for all you young whippersnappers out there. I know some of you guys probably think that I'm the young whippersnapper, but I'm not. I mean, my back is killing me. And, uh, and you know, I'm getting older. But anyhow, the one way that I could tell I'm definitely getting older as a man is nose hairs, man. Jeez. The freaking thing is filled with fuzz. It's like, I got so many nose hairs, it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy crazy i've got like a perpetually ticklish nose it drives me nuts and like i didn't have it's like every year i have ex exponentially more nose hair i'm gonna be like 50 years old and i won't even be able to breathe out of my nose anymore <laughs> i'm gonna have a mustache but i won't even be growing on my lip it'll be growing out of my nose I don't know. I, I have a feeling not a whole lot of you can relate because I think there are a lot of 
Like, there's a lot of women. And yet Nancy says women's version is chin hairs. <laughs> there you go. There you go. One, two, three, four. Five. And then six right here. All right, that's going to be the end of the crochet portion for our squid. We just need to, now we're going to start to do our whole customizable thing. No way, Nancy. There's no way that the person that cuts my hair will trim my nose hairs. I, 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 that sounds like the scariest thing ever. <laughs> Can you get my nose hairs too? <laughs> I can't imagine say like asking someone to trim my nose hairs truly my like I'm getting red right now thinking about how embarrassed I would be to ask that. <laughs> I would be so scared. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Zoe's got a Zoe's got a nose ring that does the tickling. That's funny. Just wait for the ear hair. <laughs> I definitely don't trust a barber with my eyebrows. There ain't no way I'm letting a barber touch my eyebrows. They're gonna shave a whole, they're gonna do like a whole little thing there. No way, man, no way. Yeah, I have a trimmer, but I think I'm wearing the motor out on that trimmer. <laughs> um, okay, let's sew this closed really quick. And we'll take a, we'll just take a quick coffee break and stare at Jimbo's beautiful fuzzy body. And then we'll come back uh, and look at what has won the vote. So it's your last chance. There's 62 votes so far. Um, it is based, it is nearly a tie between a bank robber and a baker. So um, go ahead and vote now uh, or forever hold your tentacles. If you want us to make this squid here a barber or a um, or a uh, bank robber, but it looks like it's going to be one of the two. I'm sorry, not a barber, a baker, a baker or a bank robber. So it's closed. My mind's on hair. I heard online. Um, Amy, that uh, plucking your nose hairs and getting them waxed can lead to Alzheimer's because you're basically putting little holes in your nose and then you can get bacteria in there and those can mess with your brain and, and lead to you having um, plaque in your brain or whatever which can give you Alzheimer's so I don't know that scares me it scares me I mean it might just be like fear-mongering but you know I don't know it spooks me hey guys this squid looks really cool <laughs> just quick just quickly saying the squid looks dope very very cool squid all right so let's I'm gonna take a quick coffee break and we're gonna get, stare at Jim Choose the vote. Let's see what one. Quick coffee. Quick coffee. And then uh, we need to look up. <laughs> H squared says worth ripping them out anyhow. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I still pluck them all the time. Um, baker. Let's see pictures of a cartoon baker. Usually this is how I do it, by the way. If you want to know my, my, uh, tricks and stuff is I will Google if I'm adding something like a baker, uh, or we're making like a baker and I want like, uh, inspiration basically, basically what I'll do is I'll go to Google. I'll go to I'll go to Daddy Google and I'll type in Baker cartoon. Cartoon is what you want to say. 
And the reason you want to say that is because that is how you get the best suggestions. That's how you get like the best like um the best like uh like what's the word like cliche that cuz that's really what I'm looking for is like a cliche version of a baker. Like how do you see it? What do people imagine when they see baker? A cartoon version of a baker makes it way easier. Um okay. This is great. Actually, this is really great. So the first thing is um, we want a chef hat, right? That makes a lot of sense. Chef hat's easy. We can definitely do a chef hat. I actually have a pattern for the chef hat, so we can do that. Mickey Cricky, hey Mickey, how you doing? How you doing? I was just thinking about you yesterday. I hope you're doing well. Um, then I want to do, so, we, so we're gonna do a chef hat on the top. I think we should do like a little, um, you know how like bakers have like a, I don't know what to call it, like a, like a, it's like a necktie almost. So we'll do that around the outside, around the outside. Um, I might even try using like felt or something for that, but I don't know. And then of course we need to give him something baked, you know, like a, like a piece of bread or, or a cupcake or something like that. So. Why don't we start with the chef hat because I know I can make that really easy. So we're, I'm gonna pull up the chef hat pattern. Um, let's see, I might actually have a short code for the chef hat. I think it might just be, let's go to clubcrochet.com slash hats and see if it comes up. Have I ever made a page for that? I did, perfect. Miniature chef hat, it's a picture of a chef hat on my thumb. That's funny. Okay, miniature chef hat is what we're doing. Okay, this is an old pattern of mine. It's not really that old, but it's old enough. We're gonna use the white yarn from the kit. Look how much white we still have too. We have so much yarn still from this kit. It's crazy. I have to say, I think this is the most like, so far this kit has been the most like, um, the most amount of projects that you can make with the kit, um, at least so far. Uh, next season's kit, by the way, season three's kit, um, I've been working on and season three's kit is, uh, you're not going to be making as many projects as you do in this one, but you're going to be making much bigger projects. That's what I've been noticing. Um, do you want to see a, an example before we do the chef hat? What do you think? How many likes does this video have? Okay, it has over 100 likes. I was gonna say, if it gets over 100 likes, I'll, I'll show you. Let me show you one of the examples from next season's uh, kit. I, now again, pre-orders are gonna be available next week, but I gotta zoom this out in order to get it on screen. Um, let me go grab it really quick, uh, just because I really wanna share one of the things. So let's go ahead and look at Jimbo while I go grab it. Okay, so I guarantee, I, I, I wanna guarantee that in every seasonal kit, you can at least make six projects. In this kit, I think we're gonna be able to get to eight projects, um, but a few of the projects are gonna be very large. So, here's one of them. You've already seen this pattern before because we came out with it net last year, but I am gonna alter it slightly so you can make smaller and larger ones. Um, this is the largest version that you can make with the kit. I will give you that heads up. Um, it used almost all of the yarn and you need a little bit extra of the yarn for something else. Uh, but without further ado, ready? Hold on, I go. We got a big old pumpkin, a big old pumpkin. And it's so cute, look at this little cutie. It's so cute. So obviously if we're making holiday patterns and we're starting in October, we've got to make a pumpkin, right? And so I was like, okay, how big of a pumpkin can I do? Uh, and I think you could get a little larger than this. I think you could get it maybe about that big of a pumpkin. Um, but I, you know, I wanted to save some yarn just in case to be sure. Uh, but yes, it is a mega pumpkin, mega pumpkin. 
uh, and it's crazy cute. I'm really, really proud of how this came out. One thing I was a little worried about is in this pumpkin pattern, I do highly suggest that you don't use, um, or that you use like a very uh, malleable yarn, like a wool and stuff. So I was a little worried about using cotton yarn for this pumpkin, but it actually turned out really, really nicely. Um, it still pulled in really well and yeah, I'm, I, I'm just really, I just really, really like it. And it's so big. It's just like, God, it's like a massive pumpkin. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, this is one of the patterns for next season's kit, uh, holiday hookups. And there's your little preview. Uh, and I'll give you more previews in the next live stream and stuff too. Um, I have them almost all crocheted. Uh, and I'm looking for, we're, we're going to have one more pattern from Drewby Zoo, but I need to reach out to him uh, to see what he wants to design for the kit. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like that. Uh, look how cute it is from this side too. Ugh, it's just so cute. Anyhow, it's so, and it's like dense. It's like, I could like chuck this at someone. <laughs> Pumpkin! Ooh, a pumpkin candy dish. That's a fun idea, Naughty Flowers. I like that idea. Um, okay, so now we are making our chef hat. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think you could also make a giant white pumpkin if you wanted to. Or, you know, a giant yellow pumpkin. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be making orange pumpkins. I'll probably make a smaller pumpkin in, in the uh, live crochet along. I just want to see how big the pumpkin would get. Home security pumpkin? <laughs> yeah, there's a little camera in it. We should give him a knife. He's a home security pumpkin. His leaves look like bats. They do kind of actually a little bit look like bats. Candy corn pumpkin. Uh-oh, Mickey Cricky is starting to starting to figure some stuff out. Who here likes candy corn? Show of hands. You know what? Let's do a poll. I'm actually super curious. I'm going to do this again later when I when we actually start the next season. But I'm just super curious. Quick poll, what do you think about candy corn? Do you like it? Do you hate it? How do you feel about it? Because I feel like it's a very um, divisive topic, you know? Some people really like candy corn. Some people absolutely despise candy corn. And I get it because, like, that's how I feel about um, black licorice. I think black licorice is nasty, 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 and should be burned and thrown into a pit and never seen again. It's gross. Goodbye, black licorice. And I think people feel similarly about candy corn. I don't, I feel the exact opposite. I love candy corn, personally. Nancy says that they like candy corn and peeps. I love peeps. Love them. Whoa, what is that, Amy? Amy says that they love, they prefer the honey candy corn. What is the honey candy corn? Of course you love black licorice, Zoe. Is that like an Aussie thing? I feel like Aus Australians love black licorice. Is, is that just in my head? I don't know why. Yeah, black jelly beans are, are they come out of the bowels of a demon, in my opinion. <laughs> That's what black licorice is. It's demon turd. <laughs> Emerald Turtle says they eat the candy corn one color at a time from white to orange. That's cute. You know what I don't like is the candy corn pumpkins. That's too much candy corn in one bite. Too much pumpkin. Too much candy. Too much corn. Dope. I'm glad, Tony. Yes, dude. Like, this vote is closer than you'd think. So far. Well, no, it's starting to get further away. More yeses. That's good. That's good to know.
Is the music too loud? It sounds like it's pretty loud, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm personally definitely a fan of it. A fanny corn. Honey candy corn. I'm gonna have to Google that after this. So we're gonna want this part. Down like that. Music is good. Music is low. Okay, good. Okay, I'd rather it be low than too high. I was afraid it was too loud. Hey, thank you for the little hearts, whoever is pressing the heart button. I appreciate it. I can see it. I always wonder that when I do those on like, when I go watch live streams and stuff, especially on like, you know, uh, like TikTok, if I'm like clicking the little heart button, see if anybody sees it, if they actually do see it. But I do. It do be seen. Ooh, did you hear that? That was my neck. How about this way? Wowza. I'm a whole new man. Turn me inside out. Wow. Oh my gosh. Pippity poppity just can't stop it. Did you hear that? I don't know if that came up on the mic, mic but that was nasty. Whoa, it's like almost 50-50 for the vote of candy corn. Do I watch any of the sub my subscribers' channels? Um, I do some some subscribers' channels, but not that many subscribers have YouTube channels. Do you, Krishandra? Let's see if Krishandra has a cha YouTube channel. Oh, they do. Oh, look at that. They've made little octopi and stuff. I'm gonna subscribe. Oh, you've made a lot of things, Crescendo. That's dope. I'll have to check those out after this. Okay, I think I need a decrease after this round, yeah? One, and then a decrease, yes. I actually feel like there's a better way to do this. Maybe we could try something new. You know what, I'm gonna try something new for this pattern. We're gonna do a single crochet, invisible decrease, and then the next single crochet, I'm gonna go into like, maybe not the very tippity top, but like, into here let's try let's try something we can always undo this if we don't like it but the idea here is to save us some time from doing like the sewing part so that it'll pull in for the chef hat will that work or will it just look weird we will find out and then Might just look weird. Well, actually, that might work. I don't know. Let's try. It. Let's let's undo it real quick because I want to see the thing. So we did an invisible. Oh, okay. I see what I did. Huh. This might work actually. So instead of this single crochet. 
You know what? Maybe we'll do this. We'll do this, pull a loop through, and then this, pull a second loop through like that, and then do one. How's that gonna work? Yeah, that might be better because that's like a little bit less of a pull in. We'll give that a shot. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We can always undo this. I just feel like this is gonna be just gonna be just a little bit easier for us later on. And might be you know, it's kinda of fun. It's fun to innovate. Innovation. this stitch pull a loop through and then go through our next stitch on the wait which one was our next stitch this one right here and we'll pull a second loop through and pull that through the long one and then pull through two like that uh oh I don't like how long that became though I don't know if this is gonna work, but it I mean it's kind of working you see like because this part's gonna get all stuffed up And then it's gonna create a little bulb and then we're gonna do another one here That'll create a bulb because normally what I do is I like sew it closed doing that But I think this will save us like a lot of effort later on I don't know we're gonna find out in just a bit Just a bit Innovation Mickey doesn't like it when I crack my bones. I'm sorry. If I don't, though, neither does Jules. Jules doesn't like it when I crack my bones either. But honestly, like, it, I go crazy if I don't. It's like having an itch that never gets scratched. Okay. Last one. Do this stitch. Pull through. This stitch. Pull through. Ooh, look how big that hole is though. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Hold on That's gonna be the trickiest part with this is like making sure this is not as Big of a loop Yeah, okay, and then a decrease Okay See how that looks. Do we like that? Kind of angled, which is a problem. Hmm. Uh, we need to do a few more rounds to really see how this turns out in the end. Before I decide to undo it and do it again. <laughs> Ivy, that is so good. Yes, that is exactly it. Ivy says that when they wake up, they feel like a, gl a glow stick. They got to crack before they can shine. I love that. I'm going to use that all the time. That is such a clever. I love that. <laughs> Oh, dude, tagged! You just made the crocheted Mario? Very cool. Do we have a cowboy hat pattern? You know what? I never really finished the cowboy hat pattern because I'm like, ding dong. It was supposed to come out this season, but I just didn't finish it in time. But I'd really like to get a cowboy hat ASAP. I really do need to get one done. I mean, I know how to crochet a cowboy hat. It's just like I need to record a video and put it into PDF and stuff. Okay, let's see how that looks. So that's one round after doing this weird thing for the... You know what? Actually, that's like kind of working, right? 
That's kind of working for a chef hat. I still think maybe it, you know, like, well, I mean, once we add in stuffing though, I think it'll really flourish and look really good. I don't know. I'm not hating it though. I'm not hating it. Pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. Oh yeah, shoot, we need names. Yes, yes, yes. Totally. Thank you for reminding me. Name our squid. Okay, name suggestions. There's a Q&A out now. Name our squid. Go ahead and give some name suggestions. Mickey Cricky, thanks for joining. I will, yes, I can't wait to show you. I hope you like it. Thank you for reminding me about the name idea, Tina, by the way. I forgot. I almost forget it. Uh oh, I got hiccups. I'm under attack. I'm under attack by the hiccup. I feel like hiccups. Oh, whoa. And then I'm under attack by a yawn. I think there's a gnome out there putting a curse on me or a hex or something. Whoa, Zoe, that's a clever idea. Zoe said that they're making an eye, like an eyeball, eye scream cone. But it's not looking as cute as they thought it would. Well, how did you think that was going to come out as cute? An eye scream cone? That sounds like something that'd be scary. But I really do like that idea. That's such a clever idea. I imagine like the cone has like teeth. And then there's like an eye in it. I don't know. How, how is it? How how was it like? How did you envision it, Zoe? That's such a fun, fun, clever idea, though. Okay, so now I'm on to the next round. Okay, so I need to undo that. That's a chef hat, right? That's a chef hat. That's that's what we in the biz call a chef hat. Especially if you had like the little red around him. Yeah. Okay, I think we just need a few more rounds here. Actually, I think we just need one more round. This is it. We might need to make a few little parts where the frill can like kind of poke through maybe. I don't know. Right? Because like if we have this, see, so if there's like this little cutout right there, then it'll be easier for us to sew this on over the frill like that. So if we did like up, 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 over a few. And then we slip stitch one, slip stitch one, and then do another frill, another end. Then it'll go around the frill. Let's let's give that a shot. I think that's a pretty good idea, so that um, we don't have to like sew the frill down in a weird way and make it like stuffed too much. I don't know. Might be worth a shot. Ta Four. No, maybe that would look weird. Yeah, I don't like the cutout idea anymore. I take it back. I take it back. Bunny! Hi, Bunny. How are you, Bunny? 
Bunny, I, you know what? So Jules and I all the time will go like, that's a cute name for a cat. Honestly, Bunny would be a really cute name for a cat. Come here, Bunny. That'd be cute. I like naming animals an animal that they're not. <laughs> Come here, koala. <laughs> Come here, horse. <laughs> You want a treat? You want a treat, horse? Okay. That's a good chef hat. I'll cut. I'll cut leaving long enough so that when we sew it, it won't be too scary. I might do a little bit more addition in the top to make it more bulbous, but let's add some stuffing to it. I think stuffing is gonna really take it over the edge. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of stuffing and then I'm gonna stuff each of the like bulbs of the top of this a little bit so that they kind of stick out a little bit more. Um, the idea, you know, being that it'll look more like a chef hat if each of these bulbs have like a little bit more in them. Lance, Bunny Does Crochet, you sure can have a shout out. There's your shout out, Bunny Does Crochet. Ah! That's my shout out. That's great. Look at that, that totally worked. That looks for sure like a chef hat. Okay. This will get sewn onto here. Um, I might try to get it just like slightly angled, just a little bit angled like that. <laughs> Would it be funny if we did this? I am chef. chef. I am chef. Me am chef. I am chef squid. Why do I talk like this? I, because it is a squid accent. <laughs> I should thank somebody. <laughs> Sir Ocean Baker. Lance. Lance. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go ahead and sew it into this round right there. Like that. Question is, should we sew it using the back loops only? Actually, I don't know if we should do that round. That's too far down. That would be like all the way down there. No, we got to do the round above it. So we'll go into this round. Right there. Yeah, let's try doing it into the back loops. Actually, you know what? Let's try going to both loops like this. This might look a little cleaner. Just because I think if I worked only in the back loops, it would like pull the back loop down a lot and look kind of strange. I am squid. This is a squid accent. Haven't you ever heard of a squid before? We talk like this. Squids use a lot of sh of shush. S H sounds. I wear squids. <laughs> what? This is how squids talk. Have you never heard of squids talks before? We talk like this. It is squid accent. Actually, squids probably talk like blub, 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 blub. We are squids. This is the sound of squid accent. It is. Pretty good squid accent. Pretty good squid accent. I'm basically an expert uh, squidologist. Went to school for basically uh, no years for squidology, squology, if you will. 
don't. <laughs> if you will, please don't. Okay, how's this going? How's this looking? Yeah. Yeah, just don't look at the back. can't get into this stitch. This stitch made me ink. There we go. I don't have anything to double knot this to though. But whatever. Look at my glasses. They're like almost off my face. I still need to get my glasses fixed. All right. See you later, bunny. Thanks for joining just to get a shout out. <laughs> Squidterpreter? I'm a squidterpreter. Scripter. Scripter. Okay. Okay, how do we think about this chef hat? This baker hat, I should say. Looks pretty good to me. It's sewn on pretty well. All good. Nice to see you, Constant Crochet. Hope you're having a great day. I think I like that. I think I like it. The back is just a little rough, but honestly, it's not even that bad. Okay. I'm going to just keep this long end here so that I can find something eventually to double knot it to. Um, I want to add a couple of things. Um, Arnita, can you share a photo of your finished octopus? Yes, you can. You can do so and join the Club Crochet Challenge, actually. Um, if you want to learn more about the Club Crochet Challenge, it's just at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, but post a picture on Instagram or in the Discord channel um, with the hashtag uh, Club Crochet Challenge, and you'll be able to enter the to win a free crochet kit. So yes, you definitely can share a picture of your photo, uh, a photo of your finished octopus. Um, okay, yeah, we definitely need to give them a fork or a spoon. You're totally right, constant crochet. But I think before we even do that, I think we need like a, like a frill, you know, like a pew kind of thing. And I think what we need to do for that Let's try just using this red yarn. Let me try something here. Let me try, let me try just something quick here. I'm gonna leave a long tail end, and I don't know if this is gonna work. Three. That'll probably be enough. Let's try just three. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And then I'll slip stitch into the same stitch there. And we'll do it again. Okay, let's see, will this work? If not, I can just cut it and throw it away. curious because if I want to add like a little like necktie right you could go in with this like that get it a little off center and then have it go all the way around will that look like a baker's little necktie mm, maybe maybe if I pulled it like in a little bit like that then it might Let's see, let's look at the pictures again. Maybe it's more close in the center like that. Just barely off center. And then I pull through so that this gets pulled in slightly. Let's give that a shot. I can always undo it and get rid of it if I want to. Yes, and we need to make an octopi 
Oh my gosh, Emerald Turtle, you're actually, actually a genius. You're, an, you're, you are actually a genius. You deserve all the credit. So if I go like this, right? Pull it in. Hopefully it'll pull that end in like that. And then this goes around the outside, around the outside, back into the same stitch, and then out through the next stitch over. Would that be too angled to the side? Yeah, I want it more centered. Okay, let's try that again. Half a dozen... Half a dozen reasons is like, you're naming this squid Lance, whether you like it or not, bud. His name is Lance. We'll see about that. You can't tell me what to do. Hey. Huh? Fight me. I'll be you up. Yeah. That's how I'm going to sound when I'm an old, old man. Or do we do it upside down like this? No, I want it. No, I, you know what? I hope one day that I'm really, when I get, hopefully I make it to be getting like, you know, really old. If I do get really old, I want to be in a, in a home. I want, I want my kids to put me into a old folks home where I can play Zelda until I die. <laughs> I want to play Zelda forever, please. Yes, please. Thank you. And that'll get pulled in. You want to give it just a little bit of a kind of a flourish. We're going to add this part right here. And I guess we'll do it again. Yeah, I'll play Zelda till I die, and then Jules can play um, Animal Crossing. And we'll just get old and an old folks home together, and our children will never come see us. And that'll be great, because we'll have seen them way too much already. That's my theory. But that's just an old folks theory. When I'm in an old folks home, no one's going to understand that reference. And I'm going to feel even older. Is a baker a chef, though? Is a baker even a chef, though? Or is a baker a baker? Is there a difference between a baker and a chef? What do we think about that? little addition to it. Does that make it look more bakery? I kind of think it does, actually. Especially if he has, like, a spoon in this hand and a, like, a, maybe like a, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Is this helping or hurting? Ouch! I'm gonna go ahead and double knot this on. Again, I can still remove this. It's always removable. We're gonna keep it open in the back. A baker is a baker, a special bread chef. <laughs> I like that. I am bread chef. Squid. I am a baker. A mixing bowl. 
Hmm, interesting. Okay, yeah, so we could do a mixing bowl. He definitely needs, like, some bread, though, too. Okay. We're going to start with bread itself. Yeah, an apron? I don't know how the heck I would add an apron. There's just, there's no body to add the apron to. But I feel ya. I feel ya, Ophelia. <laughs> Zoe says that they work at a bakery as a baker, but it's more like a fakery. So I don't really think I'm a baker. You're a fakery? You're a faker. Baker, Baker. I believe you're a baker. I mean, we got eight arms to work with, don't we? So we can add a lot of things in the arms. Okay. But to start, we definitely need to start with a piece of bread. On Maybe I'm even on something. But what we need for that is we need brown yarn. And where's the brown yarn? Do we got brown yarn in here? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we'll start with this brown yarn. Brown yarn. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimbo. Uh oh, we woke the we woke the beast. The great beast has has a has risen like bread. A rolling pin, that's a great idea, Emerald Turtle. Okay, let's start by just making a piece of bread though. Two. Six. Here's my idea for bread. Hopefully this doesn't get too big. It might. You might need to use smaller yarn. Make a tiny piece of bread. Two, three, and then three here. So this way it's like a little bit ovally. Then we'll bring it down one, decrease a little bit, and then sew closed. And then we'll add little stripes on it for bread stripes. For bread. And then we need to do, yeah, we need to do a spoon for sure. Maybe a bowl. Right, and then we'll like sew it into this arm. <laughs> or we'll put it on like a little, uh, maybe like a, like a sheet, like a baking sheet that he's holding. Or maybe I just We'll just do a round of single crochets. Will I? Or should I decrease it now? No. Nah. Nah. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? I should give him sushi. What kind of baker do you seen that makes sushi? It's a pretty big piece of bread. But you know, he's going to have a bunch of things. So he's going to have bread here. We'll do a bowl here. We'll do a spoon right here. And then we'll do something else right A rolling pin right here. 
that's a good idea. And then for this round, yeah, we'll decrease it. Why not? Well, do we need to? Yeah, we do. We do. Unfortunately. Very tiny crochet. It's basically a little oval ball that we can embroider on lines on. Bing, 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 bing. Sebastian the Baker. Oh yeah, how many names we got suggested so far? Oh, that's a pretty good solid amount. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Yes, bread. Yum. Did I mess that up? No, we're good. Stuff this up with just this brown yarn. I don't think really, really need much actual stuffing. You know what? We might actually need this. You know what? Let's actually pull it through like here because I just realized we probably will want to use this end for sewing onto the tentacle. So we'll go ahead and pull it through like this instead of stuffing it in. And we'll stuff it with regular stuffing, but just a little tiny bit. All right, we're almost done, by the way. We just need to add a few extra things. And hey, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. Uh, we're trying to get 150 likes for another giveaway next live stream. And we're already at 125, so we only need 25 more likes. That's not very much. Nilsa, how you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Or else. If you're not having a great day, that's it. That's it. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. I will tell the police. Braid. How do you post to this site? Oh, you don't know how to post to, uh, to the to Instagram? If you don't feel comfortable, if you don't have an Instagram account and you don't have a um, Discord account, uh, Anita, Arnita, um, you can also just email me it because I don't want to make you create an Instagram account just for this challenge uh, if you don't want to. So if you really want to uh, just email me the challenge, your submission, you can. Um, my email is just louis at clubcrochet.com. go we'll pull that tight Deet. up and then we'll come out through like here ish yeah like that oh you have an account okay yeah post it to instagram and just use hashtag club crochet and we'll be able to see it or, or I mean, sorry, hashtag club crochet challenge. Okay, we need um, some beige yarn, just a little bit for some flourish. Well, actually probably need the beige yarn also to add like, to make a bowl or something. Actually, we can do a different color for the bowl, huh? 
What color should we make the bowl? Suggestions? Suggestions? Maybe we do like a... I don't know. Over there. Here. Again. One. We want three stripes, I think. Like that, right? Would that look like bread? Ugh. Mm. I don't think that looks right. I think we need I think we need a different shade of brown. And also I need to sew them into different spots. Let me go look for a different shade of brown real quick. We're almost done though. I'm I'm sorry I'm taking so long for this bread. It's it's fighting me. It doesn't want it doesn't want to be. Okay. Let me go grab a different shade of brown really quick. Silver mixing bowl. I like that actually. Silver mixing bowl is a good idea. So I'll grab um I'll grab silver and a different shade of brown. Oh, there's no Jimbo. <laughs> he just got his feet. <laughs> there's Jimbo's feet for you. Okay, how's this shade of brown? That's actually all the brown I have of that shade too. But I think it'll be, I think that'll work maybe a little bit cleaner. It's like a rich brown. Also, this thing is like fuzz-tastic. I've like got all the fuzz. I'm gonna have to defuzzify this big time. Big time. All right, let's try this uh, one more time. <laughs> Luna's like, I want this bread. Don't mess this up for Luna, for Luna. Get out of there. Didn't want to get out of the stitch. Okay. Like that? I don't know. I don't even know if this is better. Is this better? Or worser? It looks delicious. If you say so, Luna. I will listen to Luna. To that stitch. Let's try that. Let's try right here for the second one. The lighter looked better. Cuts in the crust. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here is cuts in the crust. Crust cutters. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. This just looks like kind of like burnt bread now. Okay, fine. Back to the other color. Ugh, can't make up my mind. Uh. Do I have any other shades? No. No, this is the shade we're going with. Ses yeah, we could do sesame seeds. Hmm. I really want to try this line thing out, though. There's not going to be any stuffing left in this because of all it's all getting like pulled out. One. Two. Three. Okay, this is it. We're going with this. I can't keep spending all this time on bread, even though we are a baker. Right? That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, and we'll give him a baguette in the back, just to be safe. A back at, if you will. Ooh, Jimbo! Get a little ball of Jimbo. Or a cupcake. Oh wait, we wanted to do a pie, an octopi. I don't know if I can do that, but I might be able to. I might be able to. Okay, let's do um. Let's do a mixing bowl, though. Let's get all these fuzzies out of here. So many fuzzies. There we go. Like that. Okay, we'll sew this on in just a second. Because I'm not really sure where I'm going to sew these on. So, because, you know, I want to see what all the other pieces look like first. Um, next, we want to make a bowl. I got our stainless steel silver. And a bowl is going to be easy. I can do this pretty quick, I think. The nice thing about this yarn is it's very tiny yarn too, so it'll be like tighter stitches. And they're shinier stitches. Tinier, shinier stitches. Three. Ah. And there's already a knot in it. Forget that, we're doing it again. I'm not dealing with a knot. I don't need to. I do not. He's sitting on a pie. Pikmin song. 
See you later, Tagd. Tadg? I think it's Tadg. Tadg. It's fun to say. Hope I say your name right. Yeah. 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 This'll do. This'll do very nicely. This should do very nicely. That's a squid accent. Oh, dude! Luna, thank you so much for the tip! I heard it, even. Hold on. You're so sweet. Thank you, Luna. Let me finish this bowl real quick. Right. Do we do one more round? Or is that good? I think I'm gonna do one more round and do slip stitching around it. You know what, I'm gonna do one more round, but I am gonna decrease just two stitches so that it barely pulls in, just a little bit. One. Three. Four. Let's try that. Like this. No, I haven't yet, Naughty Flowers. I haven't seen the live-action One Piece yet. I've heard good things, though. I've heard it's really fun. Did you Do you like it? All right. Thank you, Arnita. I'll check it out in just a bit. and then decrease here and then we'll see how this bowl looks little bowl little hand like that we'll put a little stick in it with some goo do we do slip stitches on the outside though yeah one more thing one more thing one more thing I'm an, I, I'm getting extra with it. Unnecessary, but it do be like that. I'm gonna try round of slip stitches, just to make the border a little bit more, give it a little bit more oomph. Okay. I think that was right. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Cut the yarn. Shiny, shiny, fuzzy yarn. Uh, I want to pull this part in. The inside, so like right here that out of the way and then we'll hide this end in gosh there's so much fuzz There we go. Okay. Here's our bowl. Um, I think we're gonna I think it'd be easier. I was gonna I was gonna do like a actual thing in it, but I think it'd be easier just to put like a cut stick 
with some just yarn in there. So then I'll have a bowl like there. We'll have his bread back here. And then I want a baguette in the back. And then, or we could put the spoon right here in the hand. Um, we can make a quick spoon. Quick spoon! I, I, I know how to do a quick spoon, right? Yep, that's it. Got it. Like this. And then we'll do a chain up. One, two, three. That's good. And then this part for the actual bowl, or the spoon part. And we'll go one, two, the three and the end yeah like that and then we'll just slip stitch down really tightly two like that little spoon um i think i might even also do this I'll, i might like cut it and then we can wrap around actually to make the handle of the spoon more clear. So we'll go through the opposite side like that. You know, and then I'll, and then I'll just wrap around going up. I don't know if this is going to help that much, but I think it will. You know, so we just like wrap it up it. Will that make it look more like a spoon? Yeah, actually, I think that does kind of help. And then we'll You know what, actually here, we'll do it this way. We'll undo that. And I'm gonna go around my needle like this as we wrap around. That way we can pull it right back through and it'll hold all the yarn in place. So it'll be like that. Pull that yarn real tight. We'll go into the needle and then we'll pull the needle through the yarn and I think that'll hold the yarn in place. Create a nice tight handle and give us, nice, that's pretty good. And it gives us two ends to sew onto the tentacle. Okay, so we got a spoon that's clearly a spoon, right? Yeah, spoon. We got our little pot. We got our bread. I think the only thing I want to make left is maybe a baguette. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add our pieces, though. Oh, we need to name. We need to name our guy, too. So let me go ahead and choose names. Ooh, I love that one. There we go. Okay, name suggestions are in. Let's go ahead and vote on the names. What should we, oops. Oh, 
Oops, I forgot to put out Luna's crochet thing too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'm forgetting everything now. Okay. Name suggestions are in. Here's your votes. You can choose between Gustav, Boulon, Calamari, or Emilio. Uh, and for Miss Luna, who so graciously tipped, thank you so much, and they said, what's the worst thing about a bread pun? It tends to get stale. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I, I do like that. Um, all right, let's add something to the background for you, Luna. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, let's do another narwhal. I found one, where was it? I just saw it earlier. I found the first narwhal I ever made. Here it is. This is the first narwhal I ever made. I made this probably a decade ago, maybe longer. Look at how tiny it is. So, so tiny, very cute. Like, look at, this is like our no, no, new narwhal. Here's the old one. Same pattern, it's just this is made with like tinier yarn. Looks like a baby though. That's gonna be out there for you, Luna. If you'd like to name this little tiny narwhal, go for it. Um, okay. What was I doing? We're choosing a name. And <laughs> Slay Crochet, what a question. Slay Crochets asks, was I inspired by the Woobles? Here's the truth, Slay Crochet. I'm about to, I'm about to spill some beans. No, very much no. When the Woobles started, they started with the exact same colors as Club Crochet, using the exact same fonts as Club Crochet, making the same looking things as Club Crochet. And before the Woobles, I had created a bunch of little characters called the Woogles or the Woggles. And then in the pandemic, the Woobles came out and they started becoming very, very popular. So, the answer is no. Hardcore no, I, the Woobles was inspired by Club Crochet. I'm like 88% sure about that. And stole a lot, of our, a lot of our marketing when they first came out. And then they changed all their fonts and stuff because they knew that they had used a lot of inspiration from us. Yeah. It upsets me a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, let's get back to this and not talk about that as much anymore. Um, all right, I need to add this bowl into here. We need to sew everything together, basically. that <laughs> go for it yeah and now they're in Joanne fabrics and I'm like God, I wanted to get into Joanne fabrics anyhow I don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it oh that's right a rolling pin that's what the other thing was gonna be emerald turtle thank you I'm not salty at all. <laughs> Constant crochet. I'll see you later. Thanks so much for joining. Sorry, I've been changing the times on you.
I mean, it's business. What are you gonna do? It, truthfully, the woman that started the Woobles is really, really good. She she would, used to work as a um, analytics person for Google. And so she was really, really good at analytics and Google and uh, advertising. She wasn't really good at crocheting, but she saw a gap in the market. And so she just jumped on the crochet train and made these really simple kits. So I'm not, I'm good at crocheting. I'm not good at that rest of the stuff. So I don't really know what to do about that, you know? But what are you gonna do? Ooh, name a narwhal Nico. Yes, absolutely it could be named Nico. <laughs> Go for it, Ivy. I don't think it's gonna help much, but <laughs> that's okay. I appreciate it. Um, all right, I'm gonna sew this part in now. Look at that, the bowl is perfectly sewn on there. And I think we will put a stick in it. Well, maybe we won't actually. Thank you, Cooper. All right, next up, we're adding a spoon. I know Jimbo, Jimbo is finally awake. He's like, you're still streaming. It's been three hours. You said you'd only do it for an hour, two hours. I know, I know. We got caught up. We got caught up with making a cute little baker. I'm sorry. We're almost done. Almost. And then we can play. Sassy little boy. Yeah, you are. It's pretty good. Okay. Hi, buddy. Jimbo. Stop. Here. Ugh. Jimbo wants to say hi to the chat. Hi, bud. Look at this fuzz. Put your tail in the camera. Beautiful. Beautiful. What? This is all he wants. Now he's just purring. Isn't that nice? You're so nice now. That's all you want. You just want to be held like a baby. That's all he ever wants. <laughs> Pot Potion master. Potion master. I need your strongest potion. You cannot handle my strongest potion, traveler. I come seeking your strongest potions. I haven't crocheted Jimbo yet. I can't believe it. I really need to. Okay, no headbutting. Hold on. Oh my gosh, you were such a baby. Hi, <laughs> Note, how are you doing? I feel like that's the first thing everybody sees when they come into these streams, Jimbo. It's basically a Jimbo live stream. Okay, the bread, that's pretty cute. Okay, next we need, uh, we just need, well, first we need to fill this up with, uh, let's just put like this extra thread into the bowl. 
Like they're mixing this up. I don't need that much. Just roll it up. I rolled it too tight up. <laughs> That's too much. We don't need that much. Let's just do this little one. Actually, even less than that. There, that looks pretty good. Patient master, give me your finest bread. No, I need to get onto Ribbler. I need to get some of our patterns on Ribbler. Most of our patterns are membership exclusive patterns. Uh, I usually don't sell them individually, but I do want, I do need to do that. Um, okay, last thing. We need one more thing over here to make everything even. So I do think, do we do rolling pin? Do we do baguette? Rolling pin, baguette. Rolling pin, baguette. Um, I think it'd be more fun to do a rolling pin because I've done a baguette before. So I guess that's, I guess that's my decision. So first off, Need some beige yarn. I'm going to use a slightly different colored beige yarn. We'll use the Club Crochet Cotton version instead. And I guess we'll just do it like that big, so it closed, and then we'll put a stick in it to be rolling pin style. Rolling pin, rolling pin, rolling pin. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys agree. I think we can just do four stitches. I think I can make it work with four. We'll try four. It might be a little difficult to crochet it, but I think it'd be better to make it less stitches than more because now we're just going to start working our way. Actually, you know what? We're going to work into the back loop. Like that. Two, yeah, I think this will work. Ah, oh. oh. three and See, so if I just do this for like a few more rounds, it'll be about that long. And then we'll put this stick in through the center like that. And then it'll be a little rolling pin, right? Like that. And then it'll be like out, like up to there. And then we'll cut it. I think that'll work. What is my favorite book? My favorite book. Here, I'll show you. I have a little miniature version of my favorite book. This is my favorite book of all time. Obviously not this size of it. I like a normal size book. But my favorite book of all time is The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. It's a very, very good book. Highly suggested. It's also a children's book. I mean, it's not really a children's book, but it kind of is. Um... So it's, it's easy to read, but it's really fun to read because it's, it's very, um, clever. All the like, all the like puns and stuff. There's a lot of puns and, and like names for things. And it's all very cleverly designed. Yeah. 
yeah, that's my favorite book. Um, I also really like. I'll show you one one of my other favorite books. Here. This one. This is one of my other favorites. Ray Bradbury, The Martian Chronicles. I love The Martian Chronicles. It's a book of short stories about um, landing on Mars um, by Ray Bradbury. Uh, he's a really, uh, really good science fiction writer. And it is kind of like a book from its time, you know, but it's, he just writes it so poetically. It's very, like, his descriptions are very poetic. Um, but not like overly poetic they're like approachably poetic if that makes any sense i don't know i really like ray bradbury a lot i think he's a very talented uh, author yeah i went on etsy once and bought my favorite books as miniatures just because i wanted them in my bookshelf uh is this long enough for a rolling pin no it's not we need at least one more round getting harder and harder to crochet this though I think this will be the last stitch. Whew, it's hard to crochet. Four. Let's see. Yeah, that's long enough for a rolling pin. I like it. Let's do it. Cut the yarn. And we'll sew this closed. Cut this end. only four stitches so don't need to do much eh. hi Jimbo how did it long how long did it take for me to get successful on YouTube over a decade probably I've been posting on YouTube for a long long time uh, I mean, I'm, I had some success here and there, but like truly getting like a bunch of subscribers, it took, it took a while. Okay. Do the bottom here. Like that. What do we think? That looked like a rolling pin to you? Yeah, that looks like a rolling pin. I guess, I don't really know how, the only problem is like, how am I going to sew this onto the I guess I could sew it on like that. No. I guess we'll just poke it in. Yeah, we'll just poke it in. We'll make it easy. We'll make our lives a little easier. We'll cut this. Close. And we're going to cut this end here, but I need to use different scissors. Bye, stuffing stick. Thank you. You've been so so helpful. This is how I cut sticks, by the way. I usually like cut a little bit first and like make a divot, and then I just slowly cut it until it pops off like that. Pull these two ends a little bit, and then we're just gonna put this part right into the hand like that and we'll go ahead and pull this part up just a little like that all right i think that's going to be it for today i wanted to do a pie but it's already been two hours or three hours so i think that's a good length for a live stream 
All right, let's take a look at our beautiful octopus, whose name, by the way, is... Gustav! Gustav! Gustav the Baker. Look at a cute little Gustav the Baker. This would be a great submission for the Club Crochet Challenge, but I can't submit. That's not fair. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, well, I did Louis Loops first. I started Louis Loops uh, in high school. Yeah, and I started Club Crochet about like seven, six or seven years ago. Um, uh, yeah, but Gustav, look how cute he is. Let's look at him from every side here. That's pretty cute. Not gonna lie, that is pretty cute. I am proud of you, Gustav. You've done great. Good job. You're a great baker. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Next live stream will be not next week, but the week after. Um, we will be making uh, Druby Zoo's new pattern that's coming out next week. Actually, you know what? Little preview. Here's a preview of next week's new pattern coming out on Wednesday, or maybe on Monday. A starfish! This is a new pattern by Druby Zoo. Here's another one that I made with a different design. Coming out very, very soon. And this is what we'll be making, not next Friday, but the Friday after. We're gonna be doing a live crochet along for this. So cute, super fun pattern. Seriously, you guys, you guys are going to love this new pattern. It's really, really, really cool. Super unique, very unique um, uh, construction. I've never really crocheted something like this. Uh, I am really, honestly, I'm really proud of Drew. He really went above and beyond for this pattern. It's really, really cleverly designed. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. Um, it should be out on Monday. Uh, and then the live crochet along will be not next Friday, but the Friday after, that's going to be, um, let's see, that'll be the 15th, not the 15th, but the 23rd. Is that correct? 22nd? I think the 22nd. Um, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time, same place. If you want to make sure you don't miss it, either join our email list by creating an account on the website on clubcrochet.com or Subscribe down below, hit the little bell icon so you don't get notified or so you get notified when we come out with a new pattern. Um, and if this video gets 150 likes, that's only 14 more likes. We'll do a new a giveaway in this live stream. So I'm pretty sure it will hit that. Uh, so like this video so we can do a giveaway next live stream. And then um, yeah, there's your preview. Let's see, new patterns coming in next week. Seasonal crochet kit uh, pre-orders are coming next week as well. Um, make sure to join the email list so you get notified when those pre-orders go on sale. That's going to be the cheapest way to get the next season's kit. Uh, and you get a free little miniature pin with that, um, which are on their way right now, and I'm excited to show you. Um, okay, I think that's about it. Um, da, 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 da. New pattern coming out next week too. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining. It was a very fun live stream. Uh, really, I mean, top tier, right? Top tier squid right here. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thanks for all your suggestions. Thanks for voting. Pasta la pizza and happy hooking. <laughs> happy hooking, pasta la pizza. And uh, oh, oh, that's right. Oh my God, stop. No, you hang up. Oh my god! Stop! You're gonna make me blush! You hang up first! Oh my garb! You hang up! No! Don't! <laughs> Susan, yes, one second. <clears throat> there. Hey, Susan, how you doing? Just wanted to pop in real quick to say hi. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to sleep and uh, continue eating all the spiders around this house. This place is covered in spiders. It's like a, uh, a buffet. Mm. Spiders.
Thanks again for watching, guys. See you guys next week. Or not next week. See you guys in a week. Two weeks. Yeah, there we go. All right. Bye. Oh my gosh, stop. You hang up first. No. Simple, you want to say hi? Bye. Say bye. Come here. <laughs> Any more? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go, okay? You want to play? You want to hang out? Okay. Yeah, let's grab the toy.